Well, hi there, first graders. We are back to talking about our personal narrative story. You'll remember the one. For me, it's a true story about me that already happened, all about this summer dancing in the rain in the middle of the street. But this week, we are only focusing on the beginning of our story. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit because if I saw this from a first grader, I would think, a first grader did not write that. That must have been a 37-year-old. And it's true. This is my piece. And I'm getting to be a little old lady. And so guess what? My writing is really, really neat. And it's easy to read. And everything is spelled. Well, not everything. But most things are spelled the way that you would find them in a book. And I have to tell you, this is not what I expect from my first graders. So if you saw this and you thought, oh my word, I don't know if I can write like that. I want you to take a second and just breathe and know it's okay because you're still learning to write and so there are going to be things that are not perfect and that's okay that's how we learn we say practice makes perfect and I've had a lot of years of practicing so I want to show you this is what an adult might make their writing look like I want to show you what I would expect a kid's writing to look like so I still have the exact same ideas but when I'm getting them down on paper it's going to be a little bit trickier because you guys are still learning about handwriting. You're still learning about writing all of the sounds and words. You're still writing about capitals and lower cases. You're still learning about your punctuation. So I want to show you what I would expect from a first grader who is still learning. So I have these same ideas. So my ideas are, for my green light sentence, I wanted to tell the when, the who, and the what. Well, you'll remember I said this summer my family was standing in our driveway talking to the neighbors. Are you ready? This is what I would expect a lot of first graders to write. This summer. Now here's what some first graders do. They say, hey mom, how do you spell summer? We don't say how do you spell. We stretch it out the best we can because I want you to be independent. Independent means you can do something on your own. So we're going to do the best we can to stretch out the sounds from this word summer. So in the word summer, I want summer. This summer. Next, I. Right away, some of you are going, no, 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 that's not right. That doesn't look right. That doesn't sound right. That's not how it's spelled in a book. Just relax and know that we're going to learn this together. Okay? This summer, uh, my family is what I wanted to write, right? My fam fam my family was was talking ah ah oh that's an o ah oh, I know it could be a c talk ing ing Talking to our, our neighbors. Neighbors is so tricky. Is that when I should just ask someone else to have me spell it? No, you guys can do this. Here's what we do. We take the word, just sound at a time. So, neighbors. Okay, it has two syllables. I'm going to go with that first syllable. Nay. N I know that that's an N. N a N a oh that's easy nay nay that's my first syllable burrs b er ladies and gentlemen that is not how you would see neighbor spelled in a book but if a first grader spelled it this way i would be super impressed you haven't learned all of the rules of phonics yet but you have taken the sounds that you heard from the word and you wrote it down okay i said this family this summer my family was talking to our neighbors. I also gave you a detail in here. Um, oh yeah, we were standing in our driveway. I forgot all about that. I was going to say my family was standing in our driveway talking to our neighbors. <gasps> Should I erase it all and start again? No, you guys, this is, you might remember they talked in the module about a sloppy copy. I might make some mistakes here, right? So this summer, my family, if I want to say was standing in our driveway, look at what I can do. I do this little thing. It's called a carrot. It means, hey, put something in here that I missed. Kind of looks like a big V. So this summer, my family was, oh, I said it actually right here, was standing in our driveway. I have the carrot in the wrong spot. This is why I write with a pencil, so that I can erase if I make a mistake. Was, here's my carrot, standing. St, st, st. 
focused and well I know the word and and I know how to spell it so I can go a n d standing ing standing in now you'll notice my writing is a little bit neater oftentimes when I write like a first grader I write with my other hand just because it's a lot like you guys this hand is not so great at writing it has not been practicing for more than 30 years this hand is that's why it's easier for me to write here so sometimes I use my other hand so that I can feel like a first grader too um, standing in our driveway our our okay driveway drive dr d d d a b c turn it into a d d r i v drive w w w I know it's a w w a Oh, okay, look at it. Now that the carrot's there, this summer my family was standing in our driveway and then I go back talking to our neighbors. I would expect a lot of first graders to have writing that looks like this. And your parents would probably expect it too. This is why we go back and we fix things later on. And that's okay. I want you to know that when you're writing, I do not expect your writing to look like this, especially on the first try. What I want you to do is exactly what I talked about earlier. Think it up, write it down. Get your ideas on your paper. We'll worry about fixing this part later. Thanks so much.